I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. I pray to Almighty to offer blessings to all of you and fulfill all your wishes. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Cancer Ascendant Horoscope for the month of September 2024. During the month of September, there will be very important transit of Sun and Sun is going to form conjunction with Ketu due to which this transit will be very very important for you and in this video we are going to discuss in complete detail what will be the impact of this transit on different aspect of your life so if number four is written in the first house of your birth chart and along with that la is written as you can see here in this particular birth chart then this monthly birth chart analysis report is for you for all other ascendants you can watch my other videos to prepare this analysis i have prepared this excel sheet in which i have mentioned the transit of sun and mercury as well as moon on the basis of this excel sheet i have prepared this monthly birth chart analysis for cancer ascendant so let's move forward and first discuss about your career during the month of september period from 1st to 10th of september your birth chart will look like this as you can see here during this period saturn is currently transiting in the 8th house of birth chart rahu is in the house of fortune venus and ketu conjunction is there in the third house mercury which is the lord of the 12th house is currently transiting in your ascendant house sun in its own sign in the second house and jupiter is there in the house of profit so let's discuss what will be the impact of this planetary position on your career let's first understand the impact of venus and ketu see venus and ketu is placed in the third house from where it is aspecting the house of fortune due to which it may create some trouble related to your fortune that means there are chances that you may face some hindrances in getting the results of your hard work there are also chances that delay may happen in some of your projects or even business if you are expecting any promotion then there are also chances that may get delay on the other hand there are also chances that your travel related to your job or business may increase here rahu which is placed in the house of fortune is currently transiting at its peak degree that means it is in full power that means rahu is going to create some trouble related to that particular house it is in the house of fortune there are chances that you want to be able to get those fruitful results of your hard work or if you have started something new during the current period then you have to work more hardly in that that means you have to do more and more work you have to put extra effort in that to get those fruitful results what you are expecting from your project currently mercury which is the lord of the 12th house is currently transiting in the house of ascendant which is aspecting your 7th house here due to which it may create some misunderstanding in your mind it may create some distraction in your mind there are chances that if you are doing some partnership business that it is going to impact it in a negative manner because mars is transiting in the 12th house which is also aspecting your 7th house which is the house of partnership mars which is transiting in the 12th house may give you some positive results related to foreign land if you are planning to move in some other country or if you are searching an opportunity abroad then this period will give you that opportunity here on the other hand due to the placement of mars here it is going to impact your family life as well as health which we are going to discuss later in our sections currently jupiter is placed in the house of profit also called the metallistic desires Jupiter is aspecting the 5th house as well as the 7th house here due to which it is going to give you some stable mind it is going to give you some positive aspect here if you have been little bit of negative related to your career then Jupiter is going to give you that strength due to which you will move ahead in your life in a positive manner you are going to take your career in a positive manner due to the placement of Jupiter here in the 11th house there are chances that you may start some business or some project along with your friends or with the help of your social circle. There are chances that you will see a stable growth here 
in such a business or in such a project currently saturn is transiting in your eighth house here due to which it is aspecting your second house and there are chances that you may get some sudden gains in your family business here because sun is also placed in its own sign of leo here in the current transit due to which sun is going to give you some very very positive result here there are chances that you may see some exponential growth in your family business you may see some new projects are coming in your family business on the other hand there are also chances that you may face some conflict among your family members what will be the impact of this on your family life we are going to discuss in our later section currently saturn which is transiting in your 8th house is going to show you some ups and downs in life there are also chances that when saturn enters from the 7th house to this house that is the 8th house you must have got some unexpected gains or some unexpected losses so now when saturn is about to leave this house that is it is going to transit here in the 9th house in the month of march that means it is going to give you opposite results that means when it entered here in the 8th house and you got some positive results there are chances that now it is going to give you some negative result on the other hand when it entered here in the 8th house you must have got some negative results now it is going to give you some positive results so saturn here gives you ups and downs it is not possible that it is only give you negative result here what will the impact of this on your health which is very crucial we are going to discuss in our health related section later in this video period after 10th of september your birth chart will look like this as you can see here during this period mercury is going to transit from your ascendant house to the second house here so here sun and mercury conjunction will be there so you have to be little careful because mercury here which is the marka planet in your birth chart may create some trouble to you there are chances that you may speak something else and the person to whom you are speaking could take those word in a negative manner so be little careful here it is going to impact your family business in a negative manner as well there are chances that you may face some conflict with your colleagues or even with your bosses during this particular period what will be the impact of this on your health we are going to discuss this in our later section period after 15th of september your birth chart will look like this as you can see here during this period sun is going to transit in the third house where it is going to form conjunction with ketu currently sun ketu conjunction is there in the third house where it is aspecting the house of fortune and from here rahu is aspecting the third house see here you may face over confidence in you so sometime over confidence give you a negative result as well here in over confidence there are chances that you may start some new project which is going to give you some negative result as well so be little careful here before starting or investing in new project or in new business you have to take suggestion from some experienced person experienced professional in that particular field otherwise this conjunction of sun and ketu and aspect of rahu here on the third house may create more trouble to you so be little careful about that and what will be the impact of this transit on your family life we are going to discuss this in our later section on the other hand if we talk about the positive aspect of this conjunction there are chances that people who are into social media or if you are doing any business with the help of internet or with the help of media then you are going to get some unexpected gains as well there are chances that you may also attain some knowledge related to media related businesses during this particular period on the other hand there are also chances that you may visit some holy places during this particular period so that was all about your career during the month of september now let's move forward and discuss about your health during the month of september if we talk about your health then during the current transit of saturn here in the 8th house may create more trouble to such native who have problems related to the lower abdomen area or even with your eyes or 
even with brain related issues that means if you are suffering from depression then current transit current positions of sun here in the second house saturn here in the eighth house and mars which is transiting in your 12th house may create more trouble to you people who are suffering from depression insomnia have to be very careful during the month of september specifically period from 16 to 18th of september and 26 to 27th of september what remedies you have to perform i have mentioned in the remedy section that will be beneficial for you on the other hand people who are suffering from cholesterol level that means your cholesterol is high then period from 6th to 8th of September is not so favorable for your heart. So be little careful about that. So that was all about your health. Now let's move forward and discuss about your finances during the month of September. Period from 1st to 10th of September will be a favorable period for your finances. If you have been facing some challenges in your finances, then this period will help you in that. This period will give you some positive result here. On the other hand, period after 10th of September may create more trouble to you. It is possible that you may face some mental stress related to your finances. There are chances that you won't be able to do financial management during this particular period. So be a little careful about that. Specifically period from 26th to 27th of September and 16th to 18th of September as well as 3rd to 5th of September these days are very crucial there are chances that you may face some unexpected expenses during this particular period and these expenses may be related to your medicine or related to your health so be a little careful about that so that was all about your finances now let's move forward and discuss about your love and romance life people who are into relationship then the month of september will be a favorable period for their relationship However, Mars placement here in the 12th house which is aspecting the 7th house may create some trouble in your relationship matters. There are chances that you may face some conflict. There are chances that you may face some misunderstanding in your relationship. Also, Rahu which is also aspecting your 5th house here may create some misunderstanding when we talk about your relationship. There are also chances that you may get attracted towards someone else in spite of having relationship with someone else so be a little careful here otherwise the coming period may create more stress to you on the other hand people who are single then period from 6th to 8th of september and 19 to 27 of september will be a positive period to them during this period there are chances that you may meet someone Due to which your love and relationship chapter may begin. There are also chances that your meeting may happen during travel. So that was all about your love and romance life. Now let's move forward and discuss about your family life. If we talk about your marital life, then the month of September will show some ups and downs here. Mercury which is aspecting your 7th house and Mars is also aspecting your 7th house may create some trouble, may create some misunderstanding in your married life. There are also chances that you won't be able to give time in your relationship or you won't be able to give time in your married life due to which conflict may arise at your home on the other hand period after 15th of september there are chances that your conflict with your father may increase due to the transit of sun here in the third house there are also chances that some health related issue may also arise when we talk about your father there are also chances that you may face some conflict with your younger siblings here also period from 26th to 27th of September and 16th to 18th of September there are chances that you may face some conflict or some misunderstanding with your mother here. There are also chances that during these days your mother may face some health related issues. So that was all about your family life during the month of September. Now let's move forward and discuss about those most important remedies that will be beneficial for you during this month. Currently, Saturn is transiting in your 8th house due to which you have to chant Saturn Beej Mantra daily 108 times. Also, you have to donate black lentils and black color of cloth which will be of 1.25 meter of length on every Saturday. You can also donate some coins on every Saturday to any needy person or in any Saturn temple. Currently, Rahu is transiting in your fortune house which is at its peak degree. You have to donate 
सम एजुकेशन मटेरियल टू सम नीडी पर्सन फ्रॉम योर होम दैट विल बी वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू आल्सो यू हैव टू चैंट राहु बीज मंत्र डेली आफ्टर सनसेट यू कैन आल्सो फीड डॉग्स एंड फिशेस आफ्टर सनसेट दैट विल आल्सो गिव यू वेरी पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट्स करंटली मार्स इज ट्रांजिटिंग फ्रॉम योर ट्वेल्थ हाउस यू शुड डोनेट रेड लेंटिल्स व्हिच विल बी ऑफ 250 ग्राम्स एंड रेड कलर्ड ऑफ क्लोथ व्हिच शुड बी 1.25 मीटर ऑफ लेंथ इन एनी लॉर्ड हनुमान जी टेंपल और टू एनी नीडी पर्सन ऑन एवरी ट्यूजडे सो दैट वाज ऑल अबाउट द कैंसर असेंडेंट होरोस्कोप मे ऑलमाइटी ब्लेस यू ऑलवेज एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो